so Monday afternoon, it's a kind of an out of ordinary day for me today. I started off the day kind of, okay, whatever. I'm having lunch with Michael and my grandmother calls and asks me the weirdest question. She asked me um, if what night last week I remember, you know, the dog started acting weird because she heard some kind of noise. I said Thursday. So she said she had gone outside to her back patio and she looked over and her patio table was flipped over and all the glass was shattered all over the place so that's what she thought it was but I wasn't really sure about that because I also heard a weird noise Friday morning it sounded more like um, like a roller shade you know how in cartoons they have these roller shades that snap back and they they turn really fast that's what it sounded like to me so I actually have roller shades in my bedroom at my grandmother's house so I went upstairs and I checked it out and you know they were still down from when I woke up so it wasn't that so I don't know if the noise came about Thursday night or Friday so it's basically like a big mystery but I was even considering Saturday night because overnight we actually had some storms um, she says she didn't get any maybe she didn't hear it because they were overnight they were kind of late but it's I don't know it's just really weird so even though she told me not to I'm on my way to her house to see if I can help her clean up a little bit and maybe get the skeleton of the table um, out to the garbage because tonight she takes out her garbage so unless my uncle already showed up and helped her with that much but it's just like oh, I just cannot win she was starting to get ahead on some stuff today she's in pain still but she was able to get around and, you know, do some things and her confidence just like dropped as soon as she saw that. So, I don't know, just one of those days. I was hoping to get my kitchen cleaned out today, like dump everything out of my cabinets, my refrigerator and all that. It looks like it's going to be another really late night for me, so I don't know how I'm going to handle all this crazy sleeping business. I would take melatonin, but the last couple of type, times, the last couple of times I took melatonin, um, I had the funkiest dreams. If they were just, if I told you what my dreams were, you thought I'd be making this stuff up. They were just the weirdest dreams, but so I decided to <laughs> kind of lay off the melatonin a little bit um I've taken Advil PM only when I have like a headache or my back hurts but then the next day it just makes you feel like drowsy all day like you just want to just continue sleeping and the only thing I haven't tried yet <clears throat> was Z-Quil and I know my grandmother has some so I'm going to take um a couple from her when I leave her house today and see if maybe that'll help. Maybe I won't have the crazy dreams and maybe I won't be so drowsy tomorrow. Which is gonna be a good thing because tomorrow I got my goal tickets to a soccer game at MetLife Stadium. So I'm hoping that, you know, it'll be a nice day to, well, it's not supposed to be nice anyway, it's supposed to be cloudy with chances of showers. So I'm hoping if we do have a chance of showers, it's in the morning or afternoon and not at night. Clouds I can deal with. That's not a problem. So this weekend, there's a scrapbook um, expo in Somerset. And I so want to go, but I don't want to go by myself. But there's really nobody to go with. I know if Janie were here, she'd go. I know if my sister were here, she'd go. Because they both love scrapbooking. I like to scrapbook. I just don't have much time to do it anymore. But I just need to get out of the house and do something, you know, that I actually enjoy doing. Plus, I want to see if there's any new gadgets coming out, if uh, there's any new, um, any new uh, fads that are going on with scrapbook the scrapbooking world. You can always find something out at the expos. It's always like the best place to go, no matter if it's a car expo or a gadget expo or a baby expo or whatever it's like always the best time to go get 
can't hide very well if you're just gonna sit there in the open. Eesh. Jersey State Troopers gotta learn how to hide better. Wharton has a new addition to their town. It's called the Avalon Apartments. And it's ridiculously huge. I don't even know how many apartments are in there, but they have their own parking garage. There's a pool and everything. So I looked online to see what the rent was. Ridiculous. For a studio apartment. Now, a studio consists of one very large room that's, you know, basically your living room, bedroom combined, and then if you're lucky, a small little kitchen. $1,300 and change. It's like, Jesus, are you serious? I pay that now. Well, technically, I don't, but that's what my rent is supposed to be for where I live. And that's technically a two-bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen, and a little storage room, and the attic. It's ridiculous. And it went up all the way to $2,600 for the luxury three-bedroom. It's like, uh, how are people supposed to live anymore? You know, this is not New York City. And it's pet-friendly, but when I say pet-friendly, you're allowed to have cats and only you know, a certain breeds of dogs. I mean, the list of dogs not allowed was as long as my arm. It was ridiculous. I think there was like, I don't know, 50 different breeds of dog that were not allowed. Country is going straight to hell. So there is something in the news earlier this year. Um, actually, I think it was just over the summer. And it involved a, a Rutgers player, a former Rutgers player named Ray Rice. He played, he plays, uh, I don't even know what he plays, what position he was, he's, uh, he was for the Baltimore Ravens. So this video came out from TMZ of all people. They get everything. I don't know how they get everything. Probably pay a lot of money for videos and pictures and everything that, I don't know, whatever. But anyway, Ray Rice was in an elevator in Atlantic City with his then girlfriend, fiance, whatever she was to him. And he basically knocked her out. So, you know, videotape became public and he went on his little apology tour. He had, I think, two or three um, news conferences where he apologized. She was at one saying, I apologize for my actions leading up to this, basically. You know, the typical victim story. I'm sorry if I hadn't done this, maybe he wouldn't hit me bullshit. But anyway, so apparently the tape that we saw wasn't the whole tape. And the whole tape came out either last night or this morning or sometime overnight that showed the whole incident. So technically what happens now, eh. lovely. So what happens is the tape comes out and early this morning, um, he was cut from the team, which, you know, okay, fine. Why wasn't this before? Why didn't this happen before? When the when the earlier version of the tape came out, he was only suspended for two games by the NFL, which was ridiculous in its own right. But now that we have the whole tape and we see what exactly happened, now he's banned. Aw. I'm sorry, he's not banned. He's cut from the team and the NFL suspends him indefinitely. Why didn't this happen before? Because we didn't see the whole thing. I don't care how little bit of the tape that we saw before, he should have been cut and suspended and even fired altogether earlier. I mean, and then one of the news um, casts that I follow on Facebook posted a question and it didn't really surprise me, but at the same time, it really pissed me off because I know what the answer is going to be. Will he ever be able to be picked up by another NFL team? Maybe not right away, but of course they will. Because let me tell you something. We got Michael Vick, who had a beautiful NFL career, 
and then he got caught fighting dogs and killing dogs and burying dead dogs in his backyard and he serves two years for prison and in prison and now he's playing for the New York Jets do I see something wrong with this I mean does the NFL condone these kinds of acts by you know giving light suspensions and then oh my god when it slaps them in the face that maybe they should have been a little bit harsher then they decide to do the right thing I mean seriously they should take a a cue from the NBA who got rid of Sterling after his racist rant with his little girlfriend <sighs> just it's it's ridiculous I just hate people in general <sighs> all right we're at my grandmother's I want to go see the backyard before I pop in on her Wow. That sucks. Oh, that's what's left of the table. Damn it. Touch for Nika. <laughs> September 16th and 9th, only on HGTV. Baby girl! Baby girl! You got a beautiful view here of the harvest moon. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I'm trying to get into focus, but oh, you know what? Maybe if I put down the window. Oh, excuse me. I've been sneezing all night. Yeah, I think that's the best shot you're going to get. But it is absolutely gorgeous. See how bright it is? <laughs> I think that was just the best shot right there. It's really pretty. And yes, those are clouds, so just so you know, I'm really showing you the moon and not just a light bulb. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick picture, too, because that is just gorgeous. Okay. Now I'm happy. <laughs> so... I've been at my grandmother's house this whole time. And when I saw the table, when she called me about the table, I thought maybe a gust of wind or something knocked it over and like the glass all shattered, but I took some video of it. And it literally just shattered in the circle that, it, well, the table was a rectangle. But it's like, I can't explain it. It's like something just fell very hard on it and it just like shattered in the in the exact shape i don't get it i don't understand what happened i know the table's old and it was you know wretched but i i, I don't get it i still don't know when it happened i still don't know which occasion or if it happened saturday night during the little storm that we had i don't i just don't know so it was just oh my god but I have a, I have all the glass in the back of my truck right now. It took it took us to use four garbage bags, but the thing was we could only cover maybe about an inch, the bottom inch of the garbage bags before it got too heavy, and we didn't want to take a chance of making it too heavy and then the bags ripping because of all the broken glass. It just that wouldn't be right, and I didn't want to take a chance of cutting up the garbage men. So I'm just hoping that. You know, the guys take it and they'll be fine tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, so yeah, that was a lot of work cleaning up because it was just all over the place. It's actually, there's actually still glass in between the slots of the boards of the patio too. So it's like, 
you know, it's ugh, just horrible. Ooh. I've been sneezing nonstop, so I don't know what's going on with me. My allergies, some for some reason, are acting up like crazy. I was fine this morning. <clears throat> I had a you know a little congestion right here, but I since my grandmother's house I've been sneezing nonstop. I don't know if I touch something. I don't know if I'm gaining an allergy to something there. It's just making me nuts. Oh, but I'm I'm having a hard time breathing and sneezing is just uh, my ribs are gonna hurt like hell tomorrow. I know they are. And tomorrow's a soccer game. Go figure. Ooh, flowers out. I smell a skunk. I've smelled more skunks this year than I have any other year. A lot of baby making might must have been going on. That's all I can think of. I'm just praying that the dog doesn't get sprayed again this year because if she does oh my god she will be outside until she is not smelly anymore and that may take a few months let me tell you something when she got sprayed oh it was horrible it was probably one of the worst things ever oh, oh, oh. and this was worse than when Kira got sprayed my grandmother's last dog got sprayed uh, by a skunk one time and it wasn't that bad but Nico was bad oh. so it's a nice cool night <clears throat> I'm gonna go home and do a couple of small things and hopefully I can try to get some sleep tonight because I don't want to be sleep until the middle of the afternoon tomorrow and you definitely don't want to be doing that. And tomorrow night is the soccer game so I'm hoping that it'll be fun. I'm hoping MetLife Stadium security doesn't suck like it did last time. It was horrible last time. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness. Last time we went to MetLife Stadium for a soccer game first of all we went there and, you know, it was the usual crowds, it was the usual, you know, tailgate parties or whatever. So, I went up with my husband and I think his cousin and, you know, security was letting us by and I had my purse on me and they said, you can't bring that in. Well, what the hell was I supposed to do? They didn't mention anything about it on their website that... You know they weren't allowing bags in so I had to walk all the way back to the car to leave my purse all I was able to grab was my wallet and my asthma medication by the time I got back to the uh, the line to get in the line was so long people were pushing and nudging and cutting and oh my god the, the game had started and I, there was like I don't know how maybe a couple hundred people in line waiting to get in let me tell you something, I couldn't even get up to the, to the seats to to watch the game because I had run out of breath so bad. I actually spent most of the time in the uh, area where you get the concession stand area. <clears throat> so, at halftime, at halftime when, when the first half had ended, there were still people coming in to watch the game. So basically they had to watch the game while in line to get checked out on the big screen. It was ridiculous. And by the time halftime was there and everybody was coming out to use the bathrooms, Michael finally found me. I told him, I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to the car. There's no point in me standing around. I can't climb those stairs. I'm just, I was just way too sick. It was easier for me to go down the stairs to go back to the car and just wait there for the hour than it was to climb the stairs to where our seats were. I was just not, I was not a happy camper. So 
when I saw that the tickets were on sale this time, I got us tickets that were closer to the field so I could actually walk down to my seats to uh, sit and relax. And luckily that ends because I hate being in the middle. And just going with us if anybody's going with us. I don't think his cousins ordered any tickets. Michael should be waking up just about now to go to work. So he's probably wondering where I am. I told him I was coming to my grandmother's house, but I also told him I should be home a little bit earlier. I didn't expect to be out this late. It was funny because I don't know if you guys saw my video last night, but you may have seen my nose was all red. My nose was so itchy. You know when you get the feeling like your nose is being tickled by a piece of feather or a little hair that got loose or something and you just can't get rid of that feeling and so you're just itching and itching and scratching and rubbing it. Oh my god, my nose was so raw last night. I looked like Rudolph. It was ridiculous. So I'm hoping that I don't have that sensation again tonight because if I do, I will be so not happy. So the rest of the week is going to be really, really busy. Um, tomorrow's the soccer game. Uh, Wednesday, technically, Grandma can do the eye doctor by herself at 10.30. But I think... I know she said she may go shopping afterwards. I don't know if she's going to be able to stand that long. But... And I might try to get to her house early enough. Thursday she's got a, another doctor's appointment and then Friday we gotta try to get something done in the yard because we've been so backed up between weather and her doctor's appointments and the pain in her legs. It's just been hard to get anything done. Not to mention stuff we gotta get done in the house. Oh, it's about my own house because I got a knucklehead coming on Friday and I'm looking for every reason in the book not to be there but I have a lot of pet peeves about when I'm driving about you know I'm not the perfect driver I am far from it you know I have my 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 mistakes too but here's my biggest of all time pet peeve is when somebody is going on a drive whether it's a long distance drive or a short distance or whatever okay if you know you're gonna be going through a toll and if you don't have easy pass get your money ready ahead of time and if you even if you're going on a trip and you don't realize tolls, just have change ready anyway because you never know when you're going to have a toll. It's like my first time going down to North Carolina. I didn't realize how many tolls. Thank God we had Easy Pass. I didn't realize how many tolls we were going to have going down. I, mean, I should say I was going to have going down because Michael didn't come with me this time. But it was like... Seriously? And then, especially when I'm going home to Bloomfield, you know, we go through this, I go through the same tolls like every day that I go back and forth between here and more in or wherever. But I still see people having to stop in the middle of a damn lane to get money out when they know damn well that they're going to go through a toll. It's not like, you know, if you're on the Garden State Parkway, it's not a big surprise. You're going to get a toll somewhere. But then you got people stopping in the middle of the damn road causing all kinds of problems to get money out. Have money ready when you are going driving. Especially on the Garden State Parkway. Yep, he's already gone and he didn't even bother to call me. Lovely. Let's call him and find out why. This ought to be a fun phone call.
Hi. Hi. What? What? Uh, I just left. When? Uh, like five minutes ago. Oh, so I no, must have just passed you. You know what? Call me right back because all I'm hearing is my echo. Huh? Call me right back because all I'm hearing is my echo. He seriously needs a new phone or new headphones or something. to see where I was and or make sure I was okay or nothing. What's wrong with you? Uh, I was just going to call you until you called me back. Liar. I'm serious. I was like, oh, I'm going to call my wife. See how she's doing? And I see my phone ring, ring. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> we might be connected. <laughs> So we have a little problem. Well, you remember when the mechanic fixed that light in the front? Un remember when the mechanic fixed that light under my headlight? Well, they didn't put it back properly and it's hanging out. He didn't put it back properly. Now it's partially hanging out. Uh huh. It shouldn't be broken. They probably just didn't put it back right. Oh my god. I oh, I forgot to wait. Oh, sugar. Yeah, you should have seen it. it was ridiculous. I took pictures so you'll see it tomorrow. I don't know how the hell that glass broke, but the table didn't knock over. The glass just like shattered and dropped. It, I don't know what happened. I don't know if the umbrella hit it wrong. I don't know if something landed on it. I have no idea. Oh well. All right. Let me go inside. Oh, okay. My phone's about to. What? What? My sewing machine is home. Oh. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I could probably fix it. Okay. All right, baby. Talk to you later. All right. Okay, I love you too. All right. <laughs> love you. Okay, bye. Bye. You know, I'm just going to check my light real quick. You guys can come with me. How's that sound? Yeah, see how it's sticking out here? I don't... I don't know if they... Just, I don't know what happened. This light was out. This was the light that was out. So, I don't know. Hopefully they can fix it tomorrow. Oh, so we're home. And I am extremely, extremely tired. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to do a quick edit on this. And then hopefully upload it to YouTube tonight. And... What? I'm a little troublemaker here. Oh well. So I think I'll call it the night, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. But uh, until then, be safe. Enjoy the moon. It's really gorgeous tonight. All right, guys. Want to send a night? Hold on, Momo wants to send a night.
Send that night. No. Momo? Eh, we tried. What can I say? We tried. He's so cute, though. He just wants to be cuddled. That's all. Alright, guys, so I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.